What's going on guys and welcome back to another satisfactory video where well, last time we placed these pipes down to transport crude oil over to our oil rig to make heavy residue oil which is exactly what we did right here and as you can see we have quite a few of them but they're also sending out a byproduct of resin which is going to go to this section right here to make plastic and also rubber which we've not set up yet and that plastic is being turned into canisters and the reason for that is when we have the packages up here we will need to send the canisters up here which will go onto a loop but we could not complete it because we was waiting for update six and yes it's now arrived and that does mean we now have access to all the other oil nodes and yes we have the same amount and the same quantity of oil in this area if but if you remember we had to remove all the oil drills we had and the pipes because we knew this update was coming and it was going to get lost within rocks and all that kind of stuff so what we did is we got the pipes and pushed them right back but the crazy thing is is look how well i placed the pipes when i cut them back we're so close to the new spire coast it's like you knew that hannah actually watched this series and was like you know what bits his pipes are there so let's just kind of wiggle around it but we know that's not the case or do we <laughs> so what i do need to do is i do need to get these pipes i need to flip them and then take them around this corner and then we're going to figure out on how we can access the oil and make it clean because i don't want to destroy anything in the spire coast but you must be wondering, what are we going to be doing today? Well, in fact, we're going to be doing something a little different because there's been a few changes. Is If we go into the quartz tree, I actually want to go down here and I want to grab this because this is the new radio tower. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unlock crystal oscillators. And then we can see that the new radio towers are down there, which require 50 crystal oscillators, 50 heavy modular frames and 100 circuit boards. So the first thing I'm going to quickly just put down a manufacturer so we can go in and look at a crystal oscillator recipe. And that actually requires uh, quartz, cable and reinforced plates to make one crystal oscillator per minute. And we need more than that. So I'm wondering if to actually put it into this room here with the heavy modular frames what are being built. Because uh, we see heavy modular frames are being built here. We're not getting frames done. Why are we not getting frames? Where is our frame production? Okay, so I found the problem. Our sushi line down here is actually backed up. Because if you remember, we actually turned off the actual um, resource sink above. So I need to go and turn that back on. So let's turn that back on. Which means the sushi belt is now running again. And that means the frames are now going back to the manufacturer. So now the question is, is do I put a smart splitter here with a lift on this side and prioritize it to be send into our manufacturer here with the reinforced plates quartz and cables wait what am i doing bits you spoon i'm getting my bloody recipes mixed up i need reinforced plates instead of heavy modular frames so what i'm going to do is i think i'm going to do the same with what i did with these here to uh for the heavy modular frames uh manufacturer up there is i'm just going to pull these out here and i need as well i need you guys so if we just grab you and then i need a uh, quartz cable i need cable as well and then if we take them up there and then up here i just need to bring the belts along which what's the recipe again for the manufacturer can i got room here i do i need that one so I need 18, 14, and 2.5. And I'm thinking of overclocking this by 200% to give me two per minute. So that's going to be four, well, five reinforced plates, 28 cable, and 36 quartz per minute. So that does mean I can do Mark 1 belts coming out of all these. So I know what's going on. So this is the... Is this the... That's the cable. Which is the... This one. And then this is the... Uh, quartz. And then for the reinforced place, I think I'm just going to bring it here and take it over the top there. Because if I take it up here, I believe that is going to go into the belts area, isn't it? It is. So if I put that lift there, I just jump inside here. Get up onto this layer. And then I think I'm just going to bring this across. Uh, this can actually just sit nicely. Say around there. Grab myself a lift. And I think... That might be nice and cushy up here. I think it is. 
I think it is. I might have to move the, move that cable a little bit. I've got the hiccups. <laughs> might have to move the cables a little bit. But I'm actually going to bring it this way. And the reason I'm going to bring it this way is because I might utilize these in the future. And I don't want to take up that much space. So I, I can bring the lift down here then, you see. So that's three items right there. And then I'm going to bring them up, I think, here. Because if that's the output, that means I've got room for the manufacturer right here, right? And then I can just flip that and get the output going. And then we're all good. So what I'm going to do with the manufacturer, I think I might put it more towards this side. Just because the belts there might uh, obstruct the output. So I'm going to put it on this side. And then we've just got two manufacturers up here. So I just need to figure out... I think he is going to work. Okay, that should work. That should, should, should work. And now if we just grab our conveyor lifts and we just put you guys down here. And if we just go one, two, three. And then we can just pull in our items. So we're going to pull you in as far as we can over here. And this is why I like using underflooring. Because underflooring, you can kind of keep things nice and tidy. And you can overlap belts. Especially if you're going to be using like 8 meter underflooring. So then we can put that into there. We can bring you this way. And you can go into the second lift. And then I need to pull this down. Which is here. And I'm going to bring you all the way along. We don't actually need to remove it because the reinforced plates are actually lower than the actual uh what's it called anyway so we're fine so let's grab now a lift from here to there is that too low that is too low isn't it i think there might be a tiny little bit of a lift here so if i go from there to there yeah it's gonna be a little bit of a drop which i'm, I'm fine with i'm fine with if we do a left here and then put this into this one and then that's the three primary items what we need for the manufacturer so our crystal oscillator is the rest we're going to use we then need to power it which i think where have i got the power in here uh it's actually underground so it's going to be that left hand side one and i'm just going to grab the power cable this is something i always do and always do underflooring powers. It keeps it nice and tidy. And I'm just going to set it up to that actual line over here. Oh, there's one there, actually. And connect you up. Are you on the same level? You're not. So if I was to put you there and then attach you to there. That is now things moving. We now have crystal oscillators being made. But first of all, we need to actually overclock this by 200% to give us two per minute. And that might take some time. Okay, so the next thing I need to look at is where are we going to store these? I don't think I've got any empty storage containers. I don't think. Can I? Oh, I think I might be able to put it here. Can I put you here? And then put a you there. You there, you there, and then just bring these across. Oh my god. Like I said in the last episode, I'm a genius. An accidental genius. <laughs> Things just work. But I need to test something. So, in update 6, we can now copy from here. So if I click Control C, we can control a, copy the sign from there now. And actually paste like you normally would. You don't need to actually go into the sign now. But also, if you make a change to the image or anything like that, and you press escape, it will automatically save now and not revert back to what you had initially. So if you, you know, you set up your sign and you go, oh no, I've just set it all up and then, yeah. So that doesn't need to be done anymore. We can now just copy it from outside. So there's actually a couple of clicks less from what we need to do. So I just need to put this now to crystal oscillators. Which, can I see any here? If not, I'm just going to type it in. Crystal. There we go. Boom. And it automatically saves me. I don't need to press save in the bottom corner. And now that is done for that. Now I need to think about the input. And for that, I think I've just found a little hole here. That we can actually go through. 
and then just grab ourselves a nice little cheeky belt, which I might have to bring out you to about there, then grab the lift and then bring it this way. Is that going to clip through there? It is. I need to bring the that belt on the ground one notch over. And then we should be fine. Grab you. And then bring you there. And then on the output side here, if we add ourselves a conveyor hole, put our lift in there. Why am I... I keep going into the bloody menu. What am I doing? I never used the hot bar or anything, and now that would, this this would have been the perfect time for me to use a hot bar. Um, oh, wait a minute. Can we? Yeah, we can allow that, and then I can bring that to here. And then if I get you... Oh, maybe I can't. Maybe I've got to go from high up here. So if I bring you this way... And then if you're going to be going there... I could do with getting then... Stackable conveyor poles. One, two. Go up by two. And then grab the belt. Bring you from there to there. And then we can just bring this all the way along here. As we can see, the oscillators are already coming out in their waves. And then bring you down into the lift. Wait, is that lift the right way? It is. No, there. Okay, and now we've got storage for that. So that is done, diddly dusted. And that literally took us, what, about 10 minutes? Not even that, I think. Okay, so while that's been going, I've been working on another project, which is for another video, which you guys should know what it is, because it's going to be all to do with all the oil stuff. But we've now got some crystal oscillators in there. And what else do I need? Was it 50 heavy modular frames as well? Quartz. 50 heavy modular frames. And I need the goddamn circuit boards, which the circuit boards are actually way over there at the computer building. And let's grab some heavy modular frames as well. And then in the computer factory, I need to grab some circuit boards. Are we not making plastic over it? <gasps> They're all off. We don't have plastic. No! What is going on? Wait, there's plastic on the belts. Wait. Huh? Oh, no! No, 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 bitch! Oh, you absolute spoon. Why is there resin on the belts? That is the problem. We have resin in the... <laughs> Why have they mixed up? Okay, so I found the problem. This refinery here, this one single refinery, all the other ones are fine, but this one is set to polymer resin. So we're getting polymer resin here and heavy uh, oil residue. Where this one, it should technically be set to this one, which is giving me plastic and... Uh, so that's the problem. And now I've got to filter all of these lines off. And for me to do that, I think the only clear option or way to do this is going to put a smart splitter on that end and filter it all off and then redo the lines. Yeah, so it's going to be a ball ache. Right, so fixing that catastrophe, I can finally now unlock the radio towers. So I want to see the, uh, the benefits that they're going to give us now. I keep saying new radio towers. Well, technically, you are new. They've had a massive rework, so... If someone has pre-commented it earlier when I said, here's your comment to your comment, okay? Deal? Done. Okay, so the radio tower now needs 30 heavy modular frames, 30 oscillators, 10 circuit boards, and 100 wire. So let me go and get some more. Hopefully, I've got 14 in here whilst I was doing that. Please. Oh, I've got 52. Perfect. I might actually put it right there. Because, like, the only time I've ever used these before is actually just to to decorate, right? They, they didn't really use uh, have any uses before. But if we look at the map right now, this is what my current map state is. But let's see what it looks like when I power it up. So if we go and power our radio tower now, we can actually see 
we can see all the ores that we've used and that's in the vicinity as well so we can see this coal here i've claimed it it is a pure and we've got an iron here i've claimed as well we've got all these so obviously the ones with the ticks we've claimed there's some limestone over here which is a normal there's another normal here so you know we can go and claim them another caterium it's pretty decent so when we're able what are all these crates hide them please you guys never saw that <laughs> there's so many crates <laughs> god damn it so i think the ideal for these if if i'm not mistaken the i don't know how if we can see the vicinity of them uh oh we can we highlight it there we go we can see the radius of that tower which is pretty neat so if we put like multiple of these around we can kind of claim like you know we can kind of see what we've claimed and not claimed and then we can highlight the resources down here and it kind of pops up on the map you know we've got some nice claimed unclaimed so i can remove uh so there's the unclaimed ones which are right there and i can highlight them there my claimed on this is so much better so much better i love this but i suppose whilst we're in here as well we've also got the new map markers uh which this has just been fixed so like for example, um, I could say like, oh, look, a crate. I can just put that there. But then I can go onto it. I can click it. I can then, you know, change the symbol if I want to. I can remove the stamp. Or I can even highlight it. And if I highlight it, it gives off a beacon. So we can go and find it a lot more clearer than just following the radar at the top when we get close to it, which is pretty cool. So if you're smart enough, you could utilize this into a build. But I think maybe every time you restart your save, you might have to highlight it again. Like every time, which could be a pain in the butt. And then if you click on the radar itself, we can see the weak signals found in the area. So we can see we've got 13 summer sloops, 61 power slugs. We can see everything in here. We can even see the mobs and how many hard drives with that are unclaimed in this area. So if you want to go like achievement hunting now, you could put radars down all over the map and then go around each individual one and make sure there's no hard drives, none of the sloops, no slugs. And yes, it only shows slugs all together, not just the blue ones. So that does mean the yellow and purple ones are in there as well. You can also see the flora in there as well, which you're going to find everywhere anyway, except the bacon. The bacon you're only going to find around the center north of the map, kind of. So technically, the radio towers are mid-game, but if you think about it, if you go hard drive hunting early on in your tiers and go and find quartz and unlock crystal oscillators and make them by hand, or even go and get crystal oscillators at hard drives and heavy modular frames, you can build one of these new enough within the first couple of tiers. So then that could help you with your first start of the base. And uh, I think it'd be very, very useful. Um, but you can kind of see why they made it. It is a bit of a uh, a tool that is very mid-game. Because early game, um, you've got to go and discover all of this yourself, right? If this was all, you know, you don't want a helping hand, basically. But yeah, like I said, this is going to be a shorter episode because I'm working on a bigger project for another video. So guys, if you've enjoyed this video, check out this other content right here. And remember to leave a like and subscribe if you are not already. And as always, keep smiling and I'll see you in the next video.